Luma Touch, we love hearing about the multi-layer titles you're using to brand your work and enhance your storytelling. From logos, to Aston bars, to eye-catching opening titles and captions. By combining shapes, text and even images in the title editor, the power to create your own personalised graphics is in your hands. And when saved as a preset, can be used again in future videos and even shared with your team for that all-important brand continuity and inevitable YouTube stardom. But what if we could take our title animation to the next level, adding an extra layer of pizzazz to our work? Well, this week here at the LumaTouch Academy, we're doing just that, running you through a step-by-step -step guide on all the LumaFusion new features that will enable you to take your animations to the next level. Start off with your custom-made title, one that's going to add value to the video on your timeline. In this example here, I've designed a social post to advertise new opportunities at a brand new LA startup. I've been sure here to import the brand's own font and use its hex color codes to get the design of the title just right and aligning with their brand identity. I've used lots of layers here to form this title, but to help make this process easier, I saved the look of my initial text layer as a style preset, which I then used again and again on each layer, making the construction of this title and any future branding I do for the company quick and easy. Back on the timeline, I'm ready to animate. Now, it goes without saying that placing a transition on the title is of course a fast way to add movement on screen, giving it a nice entrance and exit. However, the only edits you can make to the pre-made transitions here are their length, where you can use the trimming handles to make the movement faster or slower. You can achieve, of course, some beautiful visual effects here, but to have full control over the movement of your graphic on screen, you need to embrace the power of keyframes in the frame and fit editor. So let's remove this transition for now and go into our clip editors by double tapping the title. Here in the frame and fit editor, keyframes enable us to set position values on our title so it moves around on screen as the content plays out. We choose a frame, turn keyframing on and set where we'd like our title to start. We then choose another frame and reposition our title where we'd like our title to end up. This automatically adds another keyframe onto our clip and subsequently our title will travel between the position values we've set as it plays. Watch here as I alter the values of each keyframe to achieve a different animation, making the title get larger as it plays or here moving from left to right. Now in LumaFusion, you can use the Zoom Navigator to zoom out from the preview and therefore pull the title off screen, making it easier to achieve the animation that you want. You can also tap, hold and drag the keyframes further apart for a slower transition or closer together to make the movement faster. Add as many keyframes as you like here as you envision how you need your title to move around the screen. When you've played your animation through and you're happy, the next level of title animation mastery is found in the path editor. By tapping this icon, you'll be able to see the path of your clip as it travels between keyframes. See here how the yellow line indicates the title is moving at the moment in a straight line from the top of the screen. To have more control over the movement of this title, we use the white handles attached to each keyframe to create a custom curved path. See as I'm dragging the handles out and around, I can alter the path to achieve the look and feel for my title, playing the content back at any time. If I want to refresh or get back to my straight line pass, I just reset by dragging the handles to the small white cross near each keyframe. Once I've secured the path I like the look of, I'm going to close the path editor by tapping the icon at the top of the interface and move on to the next step of our title animation journey today, which is to control the easing of our media. This is the rate of change between the position keyframes we have on our clip. In this case, that's simply a fancy way to say how quickly or slowly our title will leave and arrive at each keyframe, making our animation more natural and lifelike. To do this, position your playhead on or between two keyframes you want to add easing to. 
In this example, I want the animation to take off and land slowly. So I'm going to place my playhead in the middle of the two keyframes and drag the green out slider to the left and do the same with the purple, creating this S curve where the title will take off slowly before speeding up in the middle and then landing slowly on the second keyframe. If I want the opposite to be true, I can make the animation leave and arrive at both keyframes quickly. I have full control over the easing of this animation with these sliders, which is further illustrated if I open the path editor icon. Just look at the yellow dots on the path here, which get closer together, the slower the rate of change, and wider apart, the faster the rate of change. While you're experimenting with the look and feel of your media here, be sure to check out the drop down ease presets menu that will offer you a selection of options for your easing in and out of the keyframes. If I tap this drop down icon, I can change the view from the ease graph to the velocity graph, which gives me a visual representation of the amount of change in value between keyframes. This is really useful if you want to match the velocity coming into a keyframe to the velocity going out of a keyframe. So here we can see the keyframe is split. I haven't added any easing onto my other keyframes, but I can do that here to bring the two halves of that keyframe together and match the rate of change in and out of that keyframe. So there we have it. We've gone through all these features where you can make your own branded multi-layer titles animated just the way you want it for your project. All of these features and tools in LumaFusion are there for you to get creative and enjoy the process of editing as you take full control over your animations. However, if you're in more of a rush and need to add eye-catching movement to your titles fast, please do check out the motion presets in the Frame and Fit Editor. These will allow you to add beautiful curved paths and easing to your titles with a single tap. Have fun now creating your own title animations personalised to your brand and the story you're telling. Be sure to share with us any work you do on our social media platforms. And as always, please do ask us any questions in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye.